Ever heard of an arachnid that sprays acid? Meet the vinegaroon. This unique creature, also known as the whip scorpion, might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's very real and can be found in various parts of the globe, from the southern United States to India and even parts of Africa. The vinegaroon is a fascinating specimen, not just for its intimidating appearance with its long whip-like tail and hefty pincers, but also for its peculiar defensive mechanism. You see, when this arachnid feels threatened, it doesn't just run and hide. Instead, it does something quite extraordinary. It sprays acetic acid from a gland near its tail, a substance quite similar to vinegar, hence the name vinegaroon. This acid is potent enough to deter most predators, and in some cases it can even cause minor burns. Living in diverse habitats from dry deserts to humid tropical forests, vinegaroons are nocturnal creatures that prefer to stay out of the limelight, spending their days hidden under rocks or burrowed in the soil. This nocturnal lifestyle, combined with their acid-spraying defense mechanism, helps the vinegaroon survive in environments teeming with potential predators. This acid spray is not just a marvel of nature, but it's also a crucial survival tool for the vinegaroon. Without it, these arachnids would be easy prey for larger predators, but with a quick spray of acetic acid, they can fend off threats and go about their business, demonstrating the incredible adaptability of life on Earth. But don't worry, while the vinegaroon's acid spray can be unpleasant, it's not harmful to humans unless it gets in the eyes or nose. So, if you ever come across one of these creatures, there's no need to panic. Just give it some space and it'll likely scuttle away without a fuss. So the next time you're in the wild, remember to keep an eye out for these acid-spraying critters. The vinegaroon is a testament to the amazing diversity and adaptability of life on our planet, and a reminder that nature is full of surprises. From the wilds, we now turn to a household favorite. Have you ever wondered how parrots talk? This vibrant feathered chatterbox is more than just a splash of color in our lives. Its ability to mimic human speech is truly fascinating. Parrots are not like other birds. Their unique anatomy allows them to produce sounds that are remarkably similar to the human voice. Unlike us, parrots don't have vocal cords. Instead, they have a syrinx, a special vocal organ located at the base of their trachea. This syrinx functions somewhat like a musical instrument, enabling parrots to produce a wide range of tones and pitches. But it's not just about the hardware. Parrots also have an extraordinary ability to control the shape and depth of their syrinx with pinpoint precision, much like a skilled musician playing a wind instrument. This allows them to reproduce the rhythm and melody of human speech, even if they don't fully understand the meaning of the words they're saying. So how do parrots learn to talk? Well, it's a process that begins at a young age, much like human babies. Parrots are social birds, and they learn by observing and mimicking the sounds around them. In the wild, this means the calls of their flock. In your living room, it means your conversations, the television, or even the ringtone on your phone. But it's not just mindless repetition. Parrots are surprisingly intelligent, with cognitive abilities comparable to a small child. They're capable of understanding context, associating words with objects or actions, and even forming simple sentences. And make no mistake, when your parrot says hello as you walk in the door or asks for a cracker when it's snack time, it's not just repeating what it's heard. It's communicating with you, in the best way it knows how. So, your feathered friend is not just mimicking, it's actually learning and communicating in its own special way. From the skies we dive into the ocean, did you ever know there's a crab that boxes? Let's venture into the underwater realm and meet this fascinating creature, the boxer crab. Boxer crabs, also known as pom-pom crabs, are small, delicate beings that inhabit the tropical reefs of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Now, these crabs aren't your typical crustacean. They've got a unique and clever trick up their sleeves. Equipped with a pair of sea anemones, they wave these living boxing gloves around to deter predators and catch prey. So how does this unusual partnership work? The boxing crab holds onto the sea anemone's base with its claws, creating a mutually beneficial relationship. The anemones, with their stinging cells, provide the crabs with a potent defense mechanism, while the crabs provide the anemones with mobility, exposing them to a wider range of food particles in the water. It's a win-win situation, a brilliant example of symbiosis in the animal kingdom. But the crabs don't just use the anemones for defense, they also utilize them to gather food. The sticky tentacles of the anemones are perfect for trapping small bits of food floating in the water. Once the food is caught, the crab brings the anemone to its mouth and scrapes off the food. 
Talk about a handy dining tool. And if a crab loses its anemone, not to worry. These ingenious crustaceans have a backup plan. They can induce the remaining anemone to split into two by stretching it apart over several days. Before you know it, the crab has a new pair of boxing gloves. Nature never ceases to amaze us with its incredible adaptations and the boxing crab is no exception. With its living boxing gloves, it's a small but mighty force in the vast ocean. From the world of birds and insects, we've now seen how even the smallest organisms in the sea possess remarkable abilities. In the underwater world, the boxing crab truly packs a punch. Back on land, let's meet a spider that's as beautiful as it is deadly, the Black Widow. This dark seductress of the spider world is instantly recognizable, with its glossy black body, slender legs, and the iconic red hourglass marking on its abdomen. A potent symbol of danger, this red mark is more than just a warning. It's a testament to the Black Widow's lethal defenses. When it comes to the Black Widow's venom, it's a potent cocktail of toxins that is 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. A single bite can cause severe muscle pain, abdominal cramps, hyperhidrosis, tachycardia, and even paralysis. Despite this, fatalities are rare thanks to advancements in medical treatments. But why is the Black Widow considered one of the most dangerous spiders in the world? It's not just about the strength of their venom, it's also about their behavior. Black Widows are solitary creatures preferring to lurk in the shadows, in quiet, undisturbed places like sheds, garages, or under rocks. They are not aggressive by nature, but they will bite in self-defense, especially when their webs are disturbed. Another fascinating aspect of the Black Widow is its mating behavior. After a complex courtship dance, the male often becomes the female's next meal, hence the name Black Widow. This bizarre cannibalistic behavior is not fully understood, but it's thought to provide essential nutrients for the female's eggs. So, how do we coexist with these dangerous yet fascinating creatures? The key is respect and understanding. By recognizing their habitats and giving them space, we can avoid unwanted encounters. After all, like all creatures, black widows play a vital role in our ecosystem, controlling the population of insects and other pests. Despite their deadly reputation, black widows are a fascinating example of nature's deadly beauty. From the land, let's soar back into the skies with the kingfisher, the diving bird. This avian acrobat is a striking sight, especially when it plunges headfirst into the water to snag its meal. This bird is no ordinary flyer. It's a master diver that has honed its hunting techniques over millennia. Among the most fascinating of these techniques is the kingfisher's spectacular plunge dive. This bird with its sharp eyes can spot a fish from up to 40 feet away. Once it has its target in sight, it takes off, hovering momentarily in the air before diving beak first into the water with barely a splash. It's a breathtaking spectacle, a testament to the bird's precision and agility. But what makes this dive even more remarkable is the kingfisher's body, perfectly adapted to this unique lifestyle. Its long pointed beak like a needle pierces the water surface effortlessly. Its eyes, equipped with special lenses, adjust instantly to the change in light and refraction when it enters the water, ensuring it never loses sight of its prey. Its wings, strong and sturdy, propel it underwater as efficiently as they do in the air. Even its feathers play a crucial role. Coated with special oils, they repel water, keeping the bird buoyant and allowing it to emerge from its dive dry and ready for flight. Its robust, compact body minimizes resistance, allowing it to slice through the water like a hot knife through butter. But it's not just about the physical trait. The kingfisher's hunting style also requires sharp mental acuity. Timing is everything. A fraction of a second too early or too late and the fish is gone. It's a game of patience, precision, and perfect timing. So why does the kingfisher go to such lengths? Simply put, it's a matter of survival. Fish make up a significant portion of their diet, and the kingfisher's specialized hunting technique gives it a distinct advantage in securing this vital food source. The kingfisher, a true marvel of nature, skillfully bridging the realms of air and water, 